Today we're gonna to talk about the most versatile and probably most important footwork you can use to get from that 3035 level to the 40 and up. And it's called the outside transfer step. Now when you're learning tennis, you generally learn how to step into the ball with your front foot to hit your strokes. Now, this is a very important step to learn, and it's useful all the way to the highest levels, but only for low balls. For almost every other shot, that includes the volley, the approach shot, the return of serve, and anything above the waist or moving away from the middle from the baseline, you're going to want to learn how to hit off your outside foot. So today I'm going to show you how to do that, so let's jump in. So the easiest way to learn the outside transfer step is at the net. Chances are when you learned your volley, your instructor taught you to split step and then step into the ball. It's not exactly wrong, but there's a little bit more to it than that. You see, the split step should be light, and then your weight really needs to transfer to your outside foot. This allows you to then transfer your body weight through the shot. So this might happen in the form of a pivot, where you split step and then just roll out onto your right foot, or your left foot if you're a lefty, or you might actually take a full step. If I need to cover the court a little bit more, I might actually take a little shimmy step and then transfer to my stroke. The important thing here is to remember that the weight has to go to the outside foot before you transfer it forward. You don't wanna just step in like this. You wanna deliberately feel yourself rock onto that foot or even step deliberately onto that foot and then transfer into the stroke. So now we're gonna apply that same concept to ground strokes. Now the time to use the outside transfer step is any time that I'm moving away from the center of the court or if I have a high approach shot or a high shot in front of me where the ball is going to be above my ribs. Anything below that, I'm probably gonna to wanna to step into the ball. But if the ball is up high, I'm gonna to wanna to plant my foot the same way that I did when I was doing my approach shots. So let me show you how that looks. We're gonna be here, the ball is gonna to toss out to the side, and we're going to plant here like this. Once again, you can practice this on your own by tossing yourself a ball or you can have a coach do it for you. Move out and we're gonna plant right when the ball bounces. Now, depending on how fast I'm moving across the court, I'm gonna finish in different ways. So if I'm pushed really far outside, you're gonna see I'm gonna finish moving to my right. If I've got a little room to move forward, I'm gonna finish into the court. If the ball is sending me backwards, I might find myself doing a one foot pivot. When it comes to the return of serve, it's gonna be very similar to the volley footwork. I'm gonna start with a split step, and then I'm gonna step out to the side that I'm going to hit upon, and I can either use a topspin stroke or I can use an underspin stroke. An underspin stroke would look like this. Split, outside foot, and transfer. A topspin stroke would look like this. Split, out, and transfer. This also works for the one-handed backhand. I can go split, step out, and transfer. So now you know why the outside transfer step is the most versatile and possibly important step for you to learn, especially if you're a 3.5 or a 3.0 player trying to get to that next level up. It's an extremely versatile step from the high approach shot to the outside transfer step to the volley, and it's an essential step for you to learn if you want to complete your toolkit as a tennis player. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you want to learn more information like this, I'd encourage you to go to gravitytennis.com. There's a ton of free content for you to help you get better, as well as some very useful courses that will break down step-by-step -step how to use the open stance forehand in a more intuitive way than you've ever seen it presented anywhere else. So that said, if you like this video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. If you have any questions or comments or feedback for me, make sure you leave it below. I'll get back to it as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching this video. See you next time. And until then, stay loose.